students have sent a clear message to Californians about how much they value their access to education. Speaker John Paris has heard their message and is committed to protecting funds for higher education in this year's budget. Educational opportunity is central to creating the kind of quality, high-paying jobs that will lead California back to a strong and lasting economic recovery. I've consistently said that the budget we adopt must reflect the values and priorities of Californians and that we cannot pass a budget that will harm our long-term growth. We cannot close our deficit in such a way to hurt our recovery and make our budget problems worse down the road. Surrounded by students and educational leaders, the speaker talked about his budget solutions. I've proposed the California jobs budget that reflects those priorities. We close the deficit without harming our economic recovery through ruinous cuts to education. The California jobs budget restores more than a billion dollars in recent cuts to education. We fully fund the UC and CSU system and we reduce student fee increases by 50 percent, saving students hundreds of dollars. We provide hundred million dollars in job training programs through the community college system and we preserve the pathway to higher education for all Californians by maintaining and fully funding the phenomenally successful Cal Grant program. Victor Sanchez, president of the University of California Students Association, talked about how the speaker is listening to the concerns of students in his group. We laid out what our asks were. We wanted to fully fund UC. We wanted to make sure that the Cal Grant was sustained. And in and of itself, we wanted to make sure that creative alternative sources of revenue were sought to make sure that this public good was, was solidified and kept in place as it should have been, uh, according to the Master Plan for Higher Education. And thankfully, I can say that this budget proposal is not only an example of bold progressive leadership on behalf of the speaker, uh, but also what a mutual understanding of what the real issues is and what this kind of relationship between students and legislators can do. And ultimately, this is a proposal that students support and will go ahead and fight steadfastly uh, so that way we can preserve what is right, uh, not only for our institutions, but for the future of this state. And I'm excited to be with them today and be able to talk about the positive impact that the speaker's budget will have on California, California's various segments of education. I'm uh, here today uh, to simply applaud uh, the emphasis on jobs, uh, California Community Colleges is the primary source of job training. There are all sorts of social needs in this state. Our people are hurting. Uh, we have high unemployment. Uh, but even in bad times, you have to have priorities. And I agree with what Assemblymember Block said. The young people behind us are the future of California. This is a budget plan that reflects the values of California by protecting education and preserving a pathway to higher education. It helps put Californians back to work and does it without raising broad-based taxes. I believe it's a plan that every member of the legislature can and should support because educational opportunity is central to our long-term prosperity. This report was produced by the Speaker's Office of Member Services.